What is up, YouTube? It's Ted here, back from Giving Gavin 13. You haven't heard me in a while, and that's because I've been doing work and stuff like that because I'm busy. But I'm back, and today I'm going to try to do a vlog. I've never done a vlog before, but I think it's going to work. Usually George uh, holds, the uh, holds the camera, but I'm going to try to hold the camera and, uh, and do what I'm going to do today. Now, you're going, Ted, what are you going to do today? Well, let me tell you. I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to try to build a mouse trap, and I'm gonna try to trap a mouse. Because I'm bored, and I want something to do, and also because it sounds really fun. Okay, let's try to do this. Now you're gonna probably be, uh, be asking, how am I gonna be able to trap a mouse? I don't have any, uh, mouse traps laying around. Usually people in Washington don't have mouse traps. But, Hey, I'm going to try to do it. So, first thing you need is an idea. I've already got one of those. i got tons of those up there, up here. Um, but the idea that I have is, you'll, you'll see what it is. It's, it's pretty good. Cool. The first thing that we're going to need is wood. Now, my dad is awesome. shed. I'm looking for all the different types of pieces of wood. This looks good, but mice can chew through these little divots that you can see. You see, the, see those divots there? Yeah. So the mice can chew through that. But these thicker pieces of wood that are like super thick and hard, those pieces would be good. Those pieces would, uh, would be really good. And then these small little chunks will be good too because mice are small. You don't need a big trap to be able to get them or else you'll get rats. And rats are weird. I mean, no offense to people who love rats, but I just, I, I don't, uh, I don't like them. So, I mean, we got quite a few pieces of wood here. And I'm going to try to draw out my ideas on them and see what will happen. Okay. So I'm out here in the shed and I just wanted to show you the um, ideas that... Hey guys, this was me, um, uh, Ted, and while I was editing the video, I realized that my explanation of the blueprint was a little bit, um, wonky, so I'm just coming in to show you, uh, what it should, uh, what you should really be understanding, which is that, so basically the, um, uh, mousetrap has two parts, it has the chamber and then, uh, and then it has the tube, the tube is the smaller front part that you see in the side view, and the chamber is the larger uh, part with the circles and slashes if you're looking at the side part. But if you're looking at the upper part, in the uh, when we actually made the design, we cut it, uh, we cut it down on the width. But on the, second uh, on the second time that I built this, or when I build this again, I'll try to uh, uh, maximize that, uh, the width of the chamber. As you can see, the uh, part with the tube has a door and you might be wondering before I show you how it all works uh, about how the door gets trapped but keep in mind that later in the video you'll uh, you'll learn about that um, keep in mind that there's other modifications that you might want to look out for that are going to come later so don't take this design if you're going to try to build your own too seriously because it will uh, uh, it, we did some modifications thanks back to the video
that the blades are going. The blades are going this way, okay? Meaning that it's going to hurt more when you're going with a downward stroke, like this. Not with an upward stroke. An upward stroke, you want to release the tension so that it doesn't get stuck in the foot. Okay. With that covered, you always want your hands away from the spiky part. Or just anywhere that's the metal part in general, because that's the part that can cut you. And at this time, I don't want anybody to get hurt, so please just, if you're going to do this, know what you're doing. Don't be messing around. Okay. I'm going to go get the plants. goes in this side, but then I can't get back out because of, uh, because of physics and because I'm a smart person. Um, then it gets stuck uh, stuck in here. And don't worry, there are air holes as you can see from that. Then back here we have a release which has a pin so that I can pull that out and then I can just pull the door off. It takes a little bit though, but then it easily slides out. And as you can see, I've already put bait inside for it because nice and low. Um, uh, love, uh, sunflower seeds. So, that's the trap. Now, we're going to go and set it up. And see if we can, uh, catch any mice. I gotta hold it straight, though, so that the bait doesn't come out. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. So it'll only probably take, like, a day or two. Uh, the reason I say two is because if it doesn't work the first night, because they're, like, super scared of it, it'll definitely work the second night. So, as you can see, there's lots of tall grass around here. Let me show you. All this tall grass. And the tall grass will, oh, uh, well, uh, it's good for uh, mouse nests. For them to, uh, like, make families and stuff like that. Um, and be able to, like, hide out from humans and all that kind of stuff. So the, uh, so the trap's going to be down here. Mouse is going to go, oh, I want some food. And then they're going to go, and they're going to go in here. They're gonna get trapped, and then they won't be able to get out until I uh, until I release them in the morning. So yeah, let's set up the hunting camera so that we can uh, see what happens. See if the mouse escapes, or if it, it goes in there, 
Or maybe even if we get a squirrel, because it's big enough to get a squirrel. The next day. Okay, so, I have removed the pin, as you can see, and now I am going to try to uh, remove the door and see if there's a mouse inside. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's any mice in there. Wait, wait. Huh. Nope. Doesn't seem to be a mouse inside. Inside. Okay. Well, I'm gonna review the hunting cam footage and see what we got. Alright, I'm gonna reset the mouse trap so that we can go tomorrow night. Wait, tonight. And if this doesn't work, I'll set it up like down towards a different area or something. Ben doesn't like to go in. There we go. Okay. Maybe I didn't have a big enough lure. Sometimes you need a lure on a mouse trap so the mouse get, uh, gets inside. I'll leave it out today uh, to just get a full cycle. But tonight I'll, uh, I'll put some more seeds there. But after I do the footage, what happened last night, then I think that'll be a wrap for this episode. So, yeah, I reviewed the footage from the, uh, from the, um, hunting cam, and I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna put, like, one or two clips in, but it just seems like it fell over, and it doesn't seem like anything came into the trap, which either means that we don't have mice, or, uh, up there, or, um, I just need to do uh need to do better on my setup. I think I'm gonna set it up a different uh in a different place next time I film and I'm gonna see what I ca uh, catch. And so yeah. Thanks for uh thanks for watching my video on me uh, making a mouse trap. Uh tune in next uh, next week for a uh for uh to watch me uh see if I can catch another mouse and also to see uh if hmm what should I do? Comment down below of what I should do next week, because, you know, I have uh, I have lots of time on my hands. But, I think that's going to be all. Like, subscribe, and comment down below what, uh, your ideas of my mousetrap and what you think I should do next. See ya!